working to down under Thailand, guys. Well, here's one that's a bit of an eye opener. You've seen all the video that I've given you on various projects and things we're doing on the farm. And often you see a small area that's sort of isolated. In one of the videos, I did manage to give you some drone shots, which showed you an overall picture of it. But um, here's a little bit of an eye opener in some shots that I took when I first met Mem and first visited the farm. I didn't have any drone shots there, but I, I have got a, some clips and you can see the vast difference it is compared to 12 years down the track. So very different. I hope you enjoy. When I first came to the farm, it was dry season and quite brown and bare. It's quite obvious from this point on that this was Townley's happy place. A few banana trees there along the side of what was always been and still is the driveway. And then out into the rice fields. And down in the very distance you see some more banana trees. That was the original small dam. And as we swing back, you can just catch a glimpse of that again. Just And so they're just biding their time, waiting for rice season to come along, which is still a few months off. And there's a young lady there. She's in a happy place. And a single summer tree, mango tree, full of fruit, beautiful fruit. Later we had many, many more. At this point in time, I was using the brother-in-law's vehicle. And you see Tony putting some things in the back of it there now. It's in the evening. And we swing back this way to the top corner. You can see this is all all ready for, for rice, so it's all rice paddy. It's below the level of the road so that it will hold water, which is obviously very important for a rice farm, which is um, all we did that on the farm at that point. So you can see that we still have, at this point, the rickety old wooden fence with wire. In the dry season, it gets very dusty on that road, which was still unsealed at that point, just a gravel road. The very first project was to replace the existing ailing water pump. We put down a new bore, uh, two 2,000 litre above ground tanks, and then we added a brand new pump, Vitachi water pump. Next port of call was we dug another new big dam up towards the top corner of the farm. This aerial shot shows exactly where that dam is. It took a little while to fill. Then we proceeded to plant 360 rubber trees. Next we emptied and backfilled the original small dam. Talony was initially doing massage and hairdressing from home, from a small room there. But then in 2013, we opened up a hair and massage salon in town. And shortly afterwards, a coffee kiosk out front of the salon. And the following year, we bought the Toyota Vigo, now no longer relying on family members to borrow their vehicles. We were now independently mobile to get around. That was great. Hello, young lady. <laughs> you 
You can see we have a front gate on the property now and also the steel trellis put up to have vines and creepers on. Also there are those concrete pots which we were going to put flowers or, or maybe some fruit, veggie or lemon trees. We hadn't made up our mind at that stage. Are they? following year, uh, December 2015, you can see that the rubber trees are really underway now. They're coming up quite well. There's the brother-in-law's property on the left hand side as we pass. And this time we've got Talony driving. <laughs> that was a little adventure for her. Coming up to the corner, uh, we've got some lemon trees in on the corner there and a bit of corn and a few other things going. And tell me, sometimes puts things in a little bit haphazard. She sees a spot and she sticks something in. You see the dam's quite well established now. And uh, it's partially forward. We are in the dry season at that point of year. But things are growing. The place is getting greener. And everything's sort of coming along. The trellis we saw a moment ago has now got a passion fruit creeper running all over it. It took off very quickly. And we ended up with lemon trees in the concrete pots. And the front gate, we set back a bit so we'd have somewhere to actually park the vehicle. And then it was time to build another dam, the middle dam, on the other side of the driveway. So we dug that out and we used the fill, raised the land beside the driveway, almost a metre. So the next thing to do was to f put up the fence with concrete posts this time, not rickety old wood. You can see that this middle dam has now got quite a quantity of water in and settled in quite nicely. And the water came from the other dam, which should eventually be filled in. On a roll with the earth moving, generally we dug a clong all the way around the farm. The next project was 180 lemon trees planted on the top side of the farm. Here you can see them digging the furrows. There was uh, six rows of trees that went in and the irrigation went in. That required a pump that was added to the surface tanks. Then in 2018, Talony sold the salon and started the flower business. So we started to concentrate more on the flowers and we started to grow our own. Initially on the plot of land that was raised up from the Middle Dam fill, Talony showed she certainly had a green thumb. Everywhere she planted, the flowers came up in great abundance, very beautiful blooms. Then we got the option to buy the Suzuki in 2019, and so initially as a mobile food stall, but uh, shortly after that it also became used in the flower business as well. Shortly after COVID became a problem and I was stranded in Australia and Talony in Thailand, but while I was away she dug the new big dam, as you can see in the picture there, number four, and also put up the frame for the covered work area. The wet season came along and filled the new big dam. Looks beautiful there. And then in March 2022, I'd been back in Thailand a week and a freak storm came through and tore back the roof on the covered area. And this prompted the repair. We had the guys come in and this was pretty much the start of the build of the small house which progressed, it grew concrete, it grew walls, it grew windows and eventually doors. In December 22, all the internal tiling and ceiling had been done. Painting was underway. While that was happening, the rear extension started, which included the kitchen. The guys got through that quite quickly, but no sooner had they finished with that, then the next project started, which was going to be the external toilet and shower block. Went up in a very short period of time. 
As you can see here, the walls went up very quickly, uh, roof framework on, and very quickly after that it was painted. Then of course a carport seemed like a great idea, so we ended up with a mega build there. You can see the Suzuki inside. So we were on a bit of a roll, so why stop now? So we thought security was going to be an issue, so we added a front wall. And that took shape very quickly. Now you see the blocks in place. Only a few blocks left to go down the uh, bottom end there. The guy buttering them up, getting ready to put those in now. We have so that was finished and uh, I got it all painted. And we got the orange, orange uh, steel grates yeah. put on the top security to go for again. height for security. So Walls that all came up very painted. nicely. And it had the Probably original gate that was on the farm extended up. by about a metre and a half. That, and that went in there on rollers, so it's that was all complete. So the house as it and uh, in the meantime, orange, you know, the know, bitumen the road the had uh, come through and been laid, orange, as you know. which was very nice. And then we moved on to the coffee shop which was the mystery build. So we had the lonely old coffee shop that we were going to put an apron around. Well, it ended up with a big foundation around and it got shifted. Very soon there were steel poles going up and obviously it wasn't just going to be a coffee shop anymore. It was going to be something more substantial. There we have a, a full quantity of columns. Very shortly after that, all the superstructure went on. We had the full framework. The guys were working day in, day out on this project. Um, during this, we also halved the number of lemon trees and put in some fill for more flowers. And by which stage the roof was just about complete. And so they put the concrete in, give them somewhere to work. And the walls started to go up. About this point, I had to fly out to Australia again. But they continued, and they rendered the internal walls. Uh, another front veranda went on to extend it. And also a kitchen very similar to the one on the house went on the back. A concrete apron all the way around to keep everything nice and tidy and uh, easier to manage. And then, of course, we needed a toilet shower block for this new building also. So the guys merrily got stuck into that. Pretty quickly, they were inside and they were tiling it and fitting it out, getting it complete. There's a complete picture there. Talney hadn't been shirking. She got flowers in. By April, the building mainly was complete and the electric fit-out went on inside. Um... We had the paint put on the outside while the tilers were going through inside. Then we had the great front wall crash. You'll see that in another video. At this point, we were ready for the blessing of the structure. So we had family members and friends come around and they had a blessing and celebration there to christen the building. The dog final okay. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, two weeks later we had some rain which tested the roof which was perfect well from that you can see that um, we've done quite a bit on the farm there's a lot more greenery on it there it's not bare like it started out but uh, a bit of an eye into our life into where we're situated what we've achieved i hope you enjoyed that please by all means subscribe love to hear your comments questions i'll get to those for you as well Catch you later. Bye.